Good morning guys, this is Q-Man with 250 Off-Road. We are up doing some snow rally today. We got oh, yeah. Marcel Ernie. I got my Kenny suit on, right? Nice, yeah, so we're gonna do some rally roads today. We're up Gowdy Road, and we're gonna head up around James Lake and Pasta Lake, and uh, just kind of have some fun in the sun and the snow, and just uh, see where it takes us. So we're gonna go out, do some exploring, do some riding, do some rallying, shoot some videos, and uh, yeah, you guys come along for the ride. All right, guys, we've got today with us the 2019 Polaris Razor Turbo S four seater, AKA Colossus customized with a roll cage from Concept Distributing, some STI wheels with Coyote tires, which do amazing in the snow, a fat fours bumper, rigid lighting, s &B particle separator, pro armor seats, should be pretty fun today in the snow. Oh, yeah. And Marcel Ernie, what do you got here today? 2018 RS1 named Ryzen with shitty sock stock suspension, terrible BFGs in the hard pack, but good in the, you know, the snow decent. Uh, we got our radios and uh, heated gloves and I got my Kenny suit on. And yeah, we got, I don't know, just an RS1. It's the best single seater. Could use a little more power in the snow. That's about it. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what are we gonna be doing today? Yeah. So uh, hopefully uh, get some decent traction on uh, not too icy out there. Try not to get stuck. Yeah, I got uh, I got some uh, whatever these guys, the ITV Coyotes on order. Thirty twos are going on later, like in a week or two. Well, it'd be good. Now you can have a back to back comparison almost. Yeah, exactly. It'll be, uh, be good. I'll be filming as well. Yeah. Awesome. All right. See you guys out on the trails. Hey guys, we are back. We just finished doing a little rip down the rally road, broke some trail in the fresh snow. So we thought we'd just come and have a little stop, take a quick break and just uh, look over the machines just to do a comparison. The one thing that we noticed right off the bat is as you can see here on my ITP Coyotes, I was breaking trail out in front. And when we came to a stop, 
My tires were completely dry, cleaned out, no issues. All four corners, all the same. And then we got the RS1 with these BFG KM3s. And as you can see, they're still packed full of snow. There's actual ice buildup in between the lugs. Have a little stop. And quick. we're not entirely sure why that is. Uh, he did do just a little burnout. burnout right here when we stopped. But I got a feeling that maybe they're just hanging on to that tire or they're not creating much heat where the coyotes seem to be creating heat. But we're gonna test it out further throughout the day and just uh, you know continue on down the rally roads. I just wanted to stop, take a quick look, make sure everything was running good. Resting again, a little snack break. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like what do you got? Butter. Chocolates. Oh man, almond buttercup. Nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Little snack break. A little bit of sunshine. Little sunshine. Check over the machines. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now my tires are clean. They're all melted off. Yeah, they look good in the heat here. <laughs> so, you just underpowered, eh? Time for a turbo upgrade. Yeah, or if you could just do something, another 10% would be good, 15%. Force turbo, get another, you know, 50 horsepower. Turbo is the easiest way, but complicated. Yeah, and it makes it challenging, especially like in the areas that we ride with snow and mud and dust and, you know, all that stuff. I mean, if you're so just, so if, to do a custom setup. if you're a straight, you know, dune guy where the it's always fairly consistent, then not so bad, but... Yeah, so yeah, we're just having a little a little snack break, guys. I should be like you and put my tooth on. Oh, there's the balaclava. You found your balaclava? I was in the tooth the whole time. Oh, wow, there we go. Yeah, RS1, BFGs, coyotes, and the turbo. We're just cruising along. Rally road time, and then we'll go find some new trails. Yeah, we'll hit the rally road. We'll head out to the left side this way towards uh, Postal Lake. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can swing back around. We can go through the mud holes if we want. Oh, yeah, we can swing through the mud holes and uh, like come that. back around to James Lake. And then we got like a 15K from James Lake to the truck there's full rally road. Mud in those mud holes, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went through there the other day in the Ranger, so. Yeah, well, it's the mud. We hit, we hit a little puddle here and there on this track, but. Yeah, we should be okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll hit the rally road, hopefully where it's a little less traffic. We got plenty of trucks. Oh. Trucks on the road that we got to watch out for. Here comes another one. So everybody's out to 
Christmas tree hunting. We are out on the weekend. We gotta go weekdays more. Yeah, that would be nice. Weekdays would be nice, so. A bit safer. Yeah. Well, this guy's turning around here. Nope, well, a bad idea. Yeah, doesn't want to go this way. All right, guys, well, we're gonna continue on, finish our snacks, and uh, we'll hit the trails. Peace, peace. Okay guys, we just came across an obstacle. We're on the trail that I was down last weekend. It was totally clear. And now, the oh, the trail is packed full of down trees. We had a major windstorm here, oh, last weekend or Monday or Tuesday or something. And obviously the trees have come down across the trail. We're gonna have to back out. It's a tiny little, trail have to try and find a way to turn around this big old beast colossus and uh see what we can do because we're not going forward nope that trail is closed and i didn't bring my chainsaw today hopefully somebody will come back and uh and do that and clear the trail all i gotta do is try and find a way out of this darn trail might be able to turn around in this little spot we'll see what happens all right, Marcel says he's gonna try and turn around right here, and then maybe he can guide me so I can see what's going on. If he backs this up a little bit, that way he puncture his tire before I puncture my tire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not getting very good. No, you're not doing very good at all. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I got to get myself stuck sideways. You're going to be doing the Austin Powers. Yeah, I know. We're going to do Yeah, yeah. Try this again. We need to get more this way. I think what you should do, you should drive forward this way and back in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Because it just keeps Yeah, try to come right over this way. It's good.
<laughs> Austin Powers. Back and forth, back and forth. One sec. Well, you got a big rut there. Yeah, go forward again. Yeah. You almost got it. He's clear. Now my turn to try and get out of here. A lot bigger machine to try and get out of this thing. I'm not backing into there, I don't think. Well, maybe. We'll see what, see what happens. All right. you're about to hit the rut on them you have like six inches if you can get the rear this way somehow miss the rut yeah keep going you know you're gonna stab into it okay and then try to get around it maybe you'll get back around it now we'll see uh almost That machine is so big. Oh yeah, keep going. All right, I do it forward now. Yeah, you're doing better than I am. Just smaller turns, that's all. Well, you just had a good placement right off the bat. Yeah, I was farther forward, which is nice. And you can see without your helmet on. The helmet limits your vision so much. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be able to see it just without my helmet on. All right, just go watch out for this tree. You're good. Oh, close. All right. All right. Oh, stabbed myself. <laughs> 360 camera stab. Adventures of Q-Man and Dirt Bike right. Survivor Man. Yeah. All right, cheers. I'll stop you. Boom. All right, guys, we made it back. Safe and sound. We had a blast. We spent some time out rallying the roads and checking out some different trails. There's definitely a lot of carnage uh, from the last windstorm that happened. We got blocked off many spots with the, uh, the trees that have fallen across the trails. So we couldn't take all the trails that we wanted to, but still had fun. Good day. Got about three hours out there today. And uh, yeah, we got Marcel Ernie. Look, he's still alive. He made it through. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming along. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like the channel. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. My name's Q-Man. This is Marcel Ernie. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're out. This is 250 Off-Road. Thanks, Peace. guys. Peace.